Hello, my name is Avanish. My name is Victor. My name is Rhea. And I'm Matthew. And we're from 16460 The Gearheads, and today we'll be giving you a brief dem uh, demonstration of our 30 yard build robot. First thing I want to talk about right off the bat is that to account for the low uh, hanging bridges this year, we designed this uh, flip, uh, flip down mechanism, as you see here with the servo. So basically this entire lift mechanism can be moved up and down. And we, so in the beginning of autonomous, this, uh, the servo will flip down and the entire thing will flip down to account for the low uh, uh, hanging bridges. If you want to talk about the road runner, we can So for this year's mission, we, op we optimized our road runner. Um, for the basic missions right now, we can do uh, move forward, backward, straight left, straight right. And also, we can go from one position to another one, following with that latest tool. And this roadrunner system is using our uh, odometry pods on the bottom of the robot for precise navigation. So, and then, next thing we'll be talking about is the basic controls. So, Matthew, you want to start the robot. So, for the uh, for precise control of the robot and easy navigation for the drivers, we're using both the uh, FOB system, so it keeps the frame of reference of the driver, and also a state machine. So, the state machine lets us control this elevator system really easily, as Matthew, uh, as Matthew is showing you. So after we drop the robot, we can run through each of the states, so uh, we can kind of show you what it, what it means. So the robot can easily transition between four states. The first one is his resting state on the ground, and then after Matthew finds the correct pixel that he's going to pick up, he can hover over it and go into the pickup state, which is which then the clock goes on the ground, and then Matthew will back up, pick up the uh, pick up the uh, pixel, and drive over to the backdrop. So after the backdrop, Matthew can press another button, which will raise up the elevator really easily. Matthew hasn't really had to do much control, and uh, he uh, then he will be able to drop it onto the backdrop. So the state machine that we implemented uh, helps us uh, control the robot really easily, and uh, we'll just keep uh, showing you a couple more pixel graphs so you can get used to how the robot works. So this is our uh, general Kellyas control function. And, and we have a, more, a couple more functionalities in the robot, and one of the main ones that we're implementing this year in our 30-hour build is this hanging function. As you guys know, in endgame, we get actually 20 points if the robot is able to hang. So after this pixel, maybe we'll demonstrate that one. Okay. So let's head over to the hanging station so that they can... So we're kind of using like a winch system, using uh, using that uh, string uh, that's controlled by a motor. So this hook will go and grab on to the uh, truss, and then it will hang up. So after after it's, after it's secured, we can use the game pad and the uh, motor controlled thread, and that will lift up the robot, and we will be able to hang and get our end date points. So uh, uh, that that basically gives you an overview of how a robot works, and. Um, so that's it. Uh, any questions in the chat? We can take them right now. Uh, we'll start about, uh, from code wise and we go. Oh, yeah. Can you ask about that? Can you describe a little more if you did anything and what it was inside the robot? Uh, about the code. So, yeah, anything done from a code perspective? Uh, about the program. Alright, so for this year's mission, oh, so for this year's mission, we use uh, state machine and MSH powered emissions at. So by pressing one button, the whole robot transforms from uh, one state to another, to the uh, third state, and to the fourth state, and goes all the way back to the uh, third state. Okay. And, um, yeah. Um, I know you have a couple questions starting to come in from chat here, so let's talk about it. grab a couple of those, too. Bobon472 is asking, can you launch the drone? Um, we can, but it currently doesn't go over. So while we are hanging on to the, I'll demonstrate it. While we hang on to this um, pole, the rule states that you're allowed to, you're allowed to launch the drone or the paper airplane from either behind these gates or while we're hanging on the gates. Um, so our goal was, while we hang on to it, <laughs> While we hang on to the pole, so we're getting those in-game points, we would also try to launch the paper airplane over the back of the field because it's just less distance to cover. Another question is from RoboCodex, which is what language of code do you guys use? Java. Java. 
Um, and then a question from Drew Kathari. What type of motor is used for the hang? Um, right now, it's a 60 RPM. It's a planetary gear motor, just like most of the other go build -up motors on the market. But it's just a really, really high torque motor, so the whole robot can be used. So here, Victor will demonstrate the uh, launch of the drone. So currently, it doesn't work, but with a little more power, it would get over a wall. Another question from Not Paid Guitarist Gamer. What kind of mechanism are you using for the drone launcher? Um, right now, it's just two motors with compliant wheels on, running opposite directions to launch the drone out. Um, the biggest issue we have with that, compared to the design like a uh, rubber band, like a lot of other teams have right now, is that it doesn't get like the startup speed, or it doesn't have as continuous of a push through the airplane, and that's why it's not making it a little long. So, uh, Gearheads, uh, looking, you had such a successful year last year, as you're looking here into uh, center stage, what excites you the most about this game? What have you learned from Robot 30 Hours? Um, I think a lot of us here, like I speak for most people here, is that um, we're excited about how many elements are part of the game. Last year, it was mainly just one element with putting the cones onto the poles, but this year there's a whole bunch of elements. Um, the biggest learning we have from this year is just how compact things really need to be with the low hanging bridges, I think. And that, that's really going to challenge teams, because although you can make your robot 18 inches, I don't think you'll see a lot of 18 inch robots this year. We're going to take one more question from the audience, and then of course the audience will try to get uh, any questions you might have about Sammy for that team after they're on. Alright, we have a question from Not That Cat. What if the hook gets stuck on the truss? Well, uh, right now, if it does get stuck on the truss during the game moving back and forth, um, we're kind of stuck, but it does stay under. So that hasn't been an issue, but that's what that this little plastic arm allows us to do is keep it down under the truss level until we need it to come up to our hand. The only truss that we get stuck on right now is the 12-inch one while we're going through it, but the 14-inch one we can clear it because we designed it so that the uh, hook will hang under the 14-inch bar, but the 12-inch truss is what we're having some problems clearing before we get stuck with it. Well, gearheads, uh, congratulations on a great robot 30 hours bill. Uh, obviously, give a big round of applause.